Speedy Sue, driving at 30 meters per second, enters a one-lane tunnel. She then observes a slow-moving van 160 meters ahead, traveling at 5 meters per second. Sue applies her brakes but can accelerate only at 3 meters per second squared because the road is wet. Will there be a collision? Support your answer with a solution. So remember that we are not asked for our opinion here, but we have to um, answer the problem with a yes or no by showing our solution. So we have to take note that um, the problem does not state that the speed, that Speedy Sue and the van are facing each other. So it means that they are headed in the same direction. So for example, Sue is, so let's make, supposing this is our road, and initially, this is where Sue was. This is the initial location of Sue. Um, let's label that S. Ahead of Sue is the van. So let's say, for example, this is where the van was. Now, the distance between the van and Sue was 100. 65 meters. Okay, that was 165 meters between the van and Sue. Now, the speed of Sue, okay, let's make a V of Sue, the velocity of Sue is 30 meters per second and then the van is 5 meters per second once sue was able to see the van ahead of her she applied her brakes but then she only accelerated 3 meters per second squared so because the brake man siya, so Sue's acceleration is negative 3 meters per second squared. So our question is, will there be a collision? So will Sue be able to stop at a distance no, na cannot reach the van? So first, let us find how long will it take for Sue to stop, okay? Let's solve. Time for Sue to stop. So that the initial velocity of Sue was 30 meters per second. The final velocity of Sue is zero. Can you stop man siya? Acceleration is negative 3 meters per second squared. So the formula that we use to solve for the time is Vf equals Vi plus At. But then the final velocity is zero. So this is um, 30 meters per second plus negative 3 meters per second squared times T or 3 meters per second squared t equals 30 meters per second. So time for two to stop, so to stop is 10 seconds. So pag abot of 10 seconds, so was able to stop. So at that time, how far has so traveled? So distance traveled by Sue after 10 seconds. So you can actually use two formulas or whichever formula is applicable if you have, if you have your, I know, 
So let's use x equals whichever formula that you can think of that's applicable here. So that's vit plus 1 half a t squared. So the initial velocity was 30 meters per second. Time is 10 seconds plus 1 half times negative 3 meters per second squared times 10 seconds quantity squared. So could you please solve the distance traveled by Su? So Su was able to travel 150 meters. But you can also think of um, other formula. So probably you can use Vf squared equals or minus Vi squared equals 2ax. You can use that and it will give us the same answer. It will lead us to 150 meters. So that itself, the distance of Su here traveled. So is he able to stop here? Let's say this is the final point of Su. But take note that also the van was not here anymore after 10 seconds. So what is the distance traveled by the van? You can also show to show clearly. So distance traveled by van after 10 seconds. So x equals vt. So the velocity of the van was 5 meters per second and 10 seconds. So x equals 50 meters. So the van was probably somewhere here in a van after 10 seconds. So there is a distance of 50 meters from its initial point from where Sue saw it. So this is 150 meters. So meaning there is a gap of um, 65 meters between Sue and the van after 10 seconds when the time when Sue was able to stop after hitting the brake. And so we can say that no, there would be no collision.